against him. Mike Barnacle? Pete, I think we can all agree that Trump is on a roll here. The odds may favor him getting the nomination. So if that came about and he were the nominee of your party for president of the United States, give me in your mind's eye a description of the Republican Party in January of next year. What is it? A catastrophe. Uh, I, I think that if Trump is the nominee, uh, it, it'll, be, uh, it'll be very, very bad for the party, not just at the presidential level, where I think he'd be wiped out, but on the, uh, on the down in the Senate and in the House. It's an interesting thing about the Republican Party. Actually, below the presidential level, it's in extremely strong shape. Senate, right. House, governorships, state legislators and legislatures. So it's not as if the party itself is, is, is broken, but for a number of years now, a number of cycles at the presidential level, we've had a problem. And rather than attempting to fix it, uh, I think we're, we're going in a reverse direction. I think both Cruz and, and Trump would be, um, would be underdogs against Hillary Clinton, who I think is a weak candidate. But I think that uh, Cruz and Trump are world apart, and, and I think that Trump, because he is toxic, I mean, if you look at the polls, I know that, that sounds like a criticism, but I think it's actually more empirical. We've just never seen a, a presidential candidate with these kind of unfavorability ratings, and not just unfavorability ratings, but the intensity of the opposition among the young, among non-white voters, among women. Uh, this is unprecedented territory, and I think it will only get worse. I know Mr. Trump is, is trying to shift his ways, but he's left a searing impression in the imagination of a lot of Americans. I don't think he's going to be able to undo that. Hmm.